Bowl over 15.03 right now. It's actually 15.039, sorry, from Bobby Hackett. Back in 1976, which he swam at the 1976 Olympics. But uh, let's set the field for you, and we'll talk more about the racers as the race goes on. John Thomas Larson is in lane number one from Medina Swim Club. In lane two, Colin Murphy, the Woodland Swim Team. The first of three Nations Capital swimmers is in lane number three. That's Gavin Springer. Blake Maxa from City of Richardson is in lane number four. And it's Matthew Hershberger in lane number five from Nations Capital. Brian Sal, his teammate, is in lane number six. In lane seven, Brennan Novak from Rockville, Montgomery. In lane number eight is Robert Freeman, Trey Freeman, from the Baylor Swim Club. All right, so we got Trey Freeman out there in lane number eight. He broke the national age group record for the 13 to 14 age group in the 200 freestyle on Thursday, I believe. And like Matthew Hershberger, his national age group record is pretty much out of reach at the moment. It's a 15.31.03 by Jesse Fasayo, also done in 1976. Jeff, Jesse Visayo, one of the greats of American swimming. He was a 400 IMer distance freestyler. Went to the Olympics for the United States. I believe he won a medal, and believe it was in the 400 IM. Don't have my information on Jesse's history right at my fingertips, but I know he did go to the Olympics and was um, one of the stars of American swimming and is still one of the great legends. And as expected, Matthew Hershberger, look at that. More than a body link lead, and we're only a minute into the race. 58-45. So if Matthew were to have a chance at this national age group record of 15.03, he'd have to go double O's for the rest of the race. And that's what the best of the best in the United States are doing, actually going faster than that, because they're going in the 14.50 range. Of course, Matthew, just 16 years old, it'd be great to see what he can put up here. He comes in with a seed time of 15.38. In order to beat that, he'll have to go 102s, 103s. And actually, a little bit faster now. It's about 102 mid. Right now, he's on pace to do that. He's going about 101s here. So he's putting together something special so far. 159.92 at the 200. Just looking nice and smooth. He's got a six beat kick behind him as well. Again, these people we were talking about from the 76 era, Bobby Hackett and Jesse Visayo, were not swimming with a six beat kick. They were going two beat kicks, maybe four beat kicks if if possible, but definitely not six beat back at the back in the 70s. Six beat kick for distance freestyle didn't really come around until the mid 1990s with the arrival of Kieran Perkins from Australia, and then later on the great Grant Hackett, even Ian Thorpe using six beat kicks in this 400, and he would go up to the 800 freestyles, and that eventually caught on in the United States and elsewhere around the world. And now you. Rarely see anybody putting together anything less than a six beat kick. Maybe a four beat kick in the mile. But Sun Yang, the world record holder, usually goes a four beat kick, six beat kick sometimes. Look at the across the field, I'm looking. We got some four beat kickers. Got lane number four, Blake Moxka from City of Richardson putting together a six beat kick. You just have to train for that kind of thing. 
If you train for it, if you do six beat kicking and all your distance freestyle sets every day, it's possible that you can do it. So Matthew Hersberger holding about a 10 meter lead right now on the rest of the field. And we're coming up to 400 meters. Again, he's just holding 101s, 101 high. And Matthew now under 30, over 31 seconds. That was a 31-0 on that 50. He's 4.039 at the 400. We got Moxka in four, holding on to second. Murphy from the Woodlands going third right now. Gavin Springer keeping contact with Murphy in lane number three. And that Matthew Hershberger so me all alone in control of this race. He's going to see his coaches and teammates as he gets to the 35-meter uh, mark of this 50. And they'll wave him on. They'll give him kind of an indication of where he is. See, Bruce Gemmel, his coach, his primary coach, doesn't really do much. 31-3 on that 50. It's got to be tough for Matthew to be able to hold that pace. Usually, usually he'll have somebody like Katie Ledecky holding on next to him. And it, we'll just give you an idea of what uh, Katie Ledecky did last summer at the Pan Pacific Championship. She went 15, 28, 36, which I can't fathom. I just said that a woman went 15, 28, 36, and I was there at the pool to watch that happen, and I, could, I still can't believe it happened. And Matthew just does not want to be slower than Katie Ledecky, and I think he's on pace to do that. We just have to see how his next 50s hold out. He's got to get back under 30 sec under 31 seconds, and he did a 30.6 on that 50. We'll have to start getting a little faster, probably in the 30, 30 point low. He's been holding 30 point high. 30.7 is his fastest 50 so far, and you just did it. 60808. So still 101s per 101, 102 low per 100. Go, Gav. Go. If he stays in the 101 mid, if he gets into the 101 mid range, he'll go under Katie Lick, the Decky's time. Again, that's 15, 28, 36. And Matthew came in with a 15, 38, 07, so he's on pace not just to get a lifetime best, but beat it by 10 seconds. And we got Moska still in, the, in second place. Again, it's very, very impressive that Moska's got a six-speed kick going for him right now. A few other people in the field do as well, but not as strong as what Matthew Hersberger and what Gavin Moska are holding. So Hersberger still control. His tempo has picked up just a little bit as we approach the halfway point in this race. We'll keep track of what his 750 meter split is. It's 740 57. So if he were to even split, which he likes to do, he'll go 15 20, 15 21. And he can finally say he's faster than Katie Ledecky. And that'll be one of the fastest times that the United States will have this year. Folks like Connor Yeager, Michael McBroom. Are in the 1450, high 1440 range. So again, Matthew Hershberger just in that 30.9 range and just holding on to it. 
it's just like a just like a robot, I guess you could say. He just knows what 30.9 feels like. If you train it all the time, you know what to do. Again, I'm sure training every day with Katie Ledecky, I'm sure Katie would like to be able to hold 30.8, 30.9 on her 50s. It's just unfathomable to believe what she could do to be able to go 15, 20 or 15, 21. That's 9, 13, 31. Again, 101, 8 for Matthew Hershberger. He hasn't really gotten out of that range. That just shows how uh, professional may not be the right word, but just how talented he is at this, to be able to just go at this distance and not falter from the pace, especially when you're doing it by yourself. Blake Mosca in lane number four is still holding second, but Colin Murphy in lane number two is just putting in the kick. He's getting his 4B kick a little bit stronger. So as we approach the 1,000 meter mark with 500 meters to go, we'll see if Hershberger starts to pick it up. Bruce Gimmel on the side starting to wave him on, meaning it's time to go. Time to get moving, 30.9. Again, he's just never wavered more than two-tenths of a second off his split times. And Matthew's got to be thinking now that we're at the 1,000-meter mark, I've just got 500 meters to go. Might as well just really pick it up here. And his stroke tempo is just picking up ever so slightly. Colin Murphy is pulled in a little bit even. He's just picking up on him a little bit more. Gavin Masca, or sorry, I did not say Gavin Masca, Blake Masca. Gavin Springer is running fourth right now, very comfortable fourth. Matthew Hershberger coming up to the 1100. Still putting together great swims. He's getting much faster now. Now he's in the 30 point mids, 30.4. He was 30.3 on that last 50. I was wondering if that was, he was getting a little anxious and he'd calm down, but the faster stroke tempo is being justified. So now he's holding 100.100 high, 100.8. Still 30.4, so again, four tenths faster on each 50. So we'll see if Matthew Hershberger, as we approach the 1200 meter mark, if he'll get any of his splits under 30 seconds. I think his last 50 will go under 30 seconds. Let's see if any before that will go under 30. Thirty point four eight. It's just remarkable to see this. How smooth, controlled. He's not panicking. Obviously, he doesn't know exactly what his splits are. But I think in his head, he probably knows. He's been working towards this. He's been training for it every day. He knows what a thirty point nine felt like. And he knows what it's like to pick up the pace just a little bit more and what that 30.3, 30.4 feels like. Now he's back in the 30 point highs, out the 30.7. But he's still on pace to go 15, under 15.25. Go, We're coming up to 1,300 meters for Matthew Hertzberger. And just to let you know, he's 30 meters ahead of the rest of the field, but Colin Murphy has pulled ahead of, Gap, of, of Blake Moxka.
So we're coming up to seven, 150 meters remaining, and Matthew Hertzberger is starting to look like he's sprinting now. Check the split, 30.6, but he's picking up his tempo, which as you're getting tired, picking up the tempo, usually you're able to hold up that time while your muscles are getting tired because you're not able to keep that same pace as your muscles are fatiguing. I'm sure he'll dig deep in this last 100 here. And the bell will ring for him. And he's lapping his teammate, Brian Sal now. 14, 19, 41, he could break 15, 20. And again, that's gonna be a very fast time among Americans. I'm sure it's gonna be one of the top, it could be one of the top, oh, top 10 in the United States this year. And as it, we'll see again, Brian, Matthew Hershberger, will he go under 30 seconds, 30.13 on that 50. He's definitely on pace to go under 15.20. How low will he go? Will it be 15.18? If he goes under 30, he's on pace to do it. He can do it. So Matthew Hershberger coming in to win this 1500 freestyle. The win was never in doubt. We were just wanting to see what time he could go. And he does break 15.20. 15, 19, 23. So that's actually a negative split because he was 739, 8, 739, 76, actually 739, 66, I believe. So he negative split that, that race. Very surprising and very exciting to do that. And great swim for Colin Murphy for second, 15, 41, 31. That's a 15 second improvement for Colin Murphy to get second place. And then Gavin, or sorry, Blake Mosca was third, 15, 45, 90. Colin Springer gets in there for fourth, 15, 59, 36, 86, excuse me. So two swimmers on the Olympic trials time. Matthew Hershberger, 15, 19, 23. As you can see, he's pretty exhausted. And that's a very tough thing to do, to swim as fast as you can all by yourself. Yeah, Brian! So congratulations to all those guys. And Matthew is excited. And that's going to do it for all the racing here at the NCSA Junior Nationals. What a way to end it. Great swim by Matthew Hershberger. So we're going to go over to the awards area. Stick around to watch not just the awards for the 50 free in the mile, but also we're going to give out the performance awards and the team awards. So stick around here on swimmingworld.com. More race, more, more excitement for you coming up.